Okay, hi guys, Mr. Pulley here with an attempt to try and explain to my Fieldcrest students how my brain works, because it's a little odd. Um, I've been telling them stories in class and trying to teach them that history is about making connections, not just a bunch of facts. And so, to help you guys learn how to make connections, I'm going to try and make a connection right now between these guys, that's the pop punk band Blink-182, and this place, that's right, it's the Roman Empire. Okay, how am I going to make a connection between the Roman Empire and Blink-182? Stick around, see if I can't possibly make this work. Okay, well these guys, uh, Blink-182, uh, were a pop punk band and I like some of the songs that they've done and they've got a particular song that I'm going to tell you about that when I heard it immediately made me think of the Roman Empire. Okay, and that song was from their album entitled Enema of the State. Okay, and that album was released in June of 1999 when you guys were all of about one year old. Okay. So whenever I ask uh, people about the Roman Empire, okay, and this is where the connection for me came in, I asked them to name a Roman emperor or the most famous Roman emperor because they usually can only name one. And they usually name this guy, that's Julius Caesar. Okay, and their song from that album reminded me of this. Now, Julius Caesar, however, lived about 100 BC to 44 BC. So let's see if we can't still make that connection between him and these guys. Uh, well, when he was younger, the guy in the middle had the same kind of haircut that Julius had, but we'll see how I can't do better than that. Okay, their song from that album is entitled Adam's Song, and that song was released in September of 2000. And that song had a line that reminded me of Julius's campaigns against Pharnaces II of Pontus. Now, Pontus is in today modern day Turkey, and this was during the uh, the wars of the first triumvirate when Julius Caesar was a member of uh, the three member ruling party, a triumvirate of, of Rome, and they're trying to put checks and balances on their power. Well, he's trying to overthrow his other two members to have complete control. While this is going on, Pharnaces gets an idea. They're busy fighting. I'll just take some land over here. Julius has nothing to do with that, comes in, very quickly defeats them, and takes that territory back. Again, during the Civil War, the First Triumphant, that's around 49 BC. <clears throat> okay. Julius defeats them so quickly, he's famously quoted as saying, Vini, Vidi, Vici. Okay. And that reminds me of the line from Blink 182's song, I Never Conquered, Rarely Came. Got it now? Oh, you need to brush up on your Latin? Hold on just a second. Vini Vidi Vici, I came, I saw, I conquered. Got it now? Julia says, I came in and conquered. These guys said, we didn't even bother to show up, let alone conquer anything. And that's how I connect these guys, playing quantity two, to the Roman Empire. And that's a little bit about how my brain works. But of course, so far you've learned that there's always more sides to a story. So let's see what the rest of this particular story is. Well, there's the fact that this was written down, this quote of Julius Caesar's was written down by a guy by the name of Plutarch in AD, who lived from AD 46 to AD 120 in his book, The Life of Caesar. Now you may recall, however, that's about 150 years after Julius supposedly said it. So did he really say it? We don't know, but it makes for a good story, at least a good history. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit about connections and how my brain works. See you later. I know.